Hi guys, today is Friday and on Friday my class has art with my friend Miss Stone. And so in honor of that, I drew this picture of a swirly dot and I signed my name. My friend Miss Stone says, no name, no fame. And that is so true. Um, you have to sign your name. Can anybody guess from this picture what book I'm going to read? You're right. It's, oh, let me get it. Uh, 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 uh. It's the dot. This swirly writing is called cursive. Um, I used to teach that when I taught second grade. Sometimes kindergartners like to write it too. Anybody can learn cursive. It's a really fun way to write. This is by Peter J. Reynolds. The dot. Sorry, I got a little glare from my computer there. All right, this is an art book. The dot. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. Oh, she looks melancholy. So sad. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Sometimes you just have to start. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There. Her teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Art becomes more valuable when you sign it. Note. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. This is something we work on a lot of times in kindergarten is just being able to sign your name. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was the little dot. She had drawn her dot all framed in swirly gold. Look at that. It's got a nice big frame. Humph, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted a yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the red, she discovered that she could make a purple dot. Vashti kept experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. I like that one. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. So now she's experimenting with size. Vashti splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger papers to make bigger dots. Look, she's on top of the paper. Oh, and now look at this huge brush. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. The absence of color made her dot. Ooh, then she had an art show. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Look at all that. That's called a series, a dot series. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're a really great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me, no, not me. I can't draw a straight line with the ruler. Whew. If I had $10 for every time somebody said that to me, I could buy more art supplies. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. He's really concentrating. And then Vashti looked at it. She stared at the boy squiggle. And then she said, <laughs> dot, dot, dot. <laughs> Please sign it. And that's how that started. Good book, huh? The dot. Go make some art today. It's Friday. Make art all weekend. You can start with a dot or a squiggly line and see where it leads you. Thanks for watching.